Right, today we are going to be throwing together the manifold for the TT. As you can see, it's been sat on here for a while. It's no longer on there. I left some before footage of how all this looks before I threw it in the vapor blaster. I've now untacked all my manifold. So this is the collector all welded up, all nicely ported inside. Looks great. And then obviously it's still got all the scale on there from the factory and loads of just roughness and I want it all a one uniform finish. You can just scotch bright these by hand. You can wire wheel them in the pillar drill or on a drill. But because I have a vapor blaster, I am gonna throw them all in the vapor blaster and I'll show you what that looks like once I've finished. So that is all the runners, primaries, prepped, nice set and finish from the vapor blaster. If you don't have a vapor blaster, like I say, scotch bright will do it. it just takes a little bit longer. But yeah, that's it finished. Now what I'll do is I will get stainless steel wire brush and I will just go in between individual groove of here just to make sure there's no media from sandblasting. Obviously, if you're not, oh well, vapor blasting. If you're not vapor blasting, then you won't have to worry about this. But it's always good practice just to clean these anyway. Just give them a good little scrub with a stainless steel brush, get it clean. And then we'll move on to the next step of getting these welded up. I've just got one of these, or two of these welded up, two of the runners. I've got a couple more. This part, this runner section goes onto one of there somewhere, but I've just split it off so that way it's easy to weld. Got my positioner and whatever set up and the tripod so I'll get filming a bit. Yeah, it's just easy just to split it off. This is it in the positioner. This was just a test piece before I started running through them. Getting full penetration. Really hard to see. The full pen's there. This one turned out even better. Swapped to a pull setting and once that's cooled down, I'll go over everything. So yeah, trying to get these knocked out. So let's throw the camera on the tripod, get some footage of me spinning some of these welds off and once they're all done, we'll have a look at how I assemble it and put it together. So the next day, bench is a bit of a mess. This is my shiner that I've had set up and I made some little 3D printed parts just to have a little arm rest so I could get some nice welds and they turned out phenomenal to be fair. It's amazing what being comfortable will do. Super happy with these. So I'm just going to do this first weld. What I do is, and what I'm pretty sure everyone does, is weld everything to the collector. So I'll weld all the way around this and then I'll do whatever I feel what I want to get around next. Do that one, that one, and then when they're all ready to go, I will bolt this down to my heat sink and then I'll weld all the flange welds together. Always bolt this to a turbo or another flange or something because these just love to walk. You'll weld this and it'll start to pull it. Even though it's here, it will pull this flange and it'll warp it and you'll end up having a bad time. So try and always clamp stuff together if you can. I'm going to get this welded up and then get this next section, however that goes in. Holding it on like this, but use a tiny little bit of fettling, but it's good to go. Not really feel much of this because I'm wanting to just get it done. So I've got the all three runners welded up and they look mint to be fair this last one has ended up short though for some reason i have to either cut it up or just remake it 
I need to see what I've got and to see whether any bits need adding. Looks mint though, well happy with that. So when I connect this up to here, I'm ending up a little bit short now. Not sure why it all really it all filled up nicely. I've decided I'm just gonna add that little piece in. Weld that on. I'm gonna take a measurement, cut it, weld it. This is my tube of the manifold. All welded up. recently bought these titanium exhaust studs to replace the old rusty mild steel ones so I'm just gonna quickly pull all these out and then swap them out for this and then get that fully installed and tight and then it's ready for the gearbox to be mounted to it and then I can throw it in the car so you might be thinking you've missed a little bit in the video You've not welded the runners to the flange and I've done this on purpose to be honest. I've already recovered this in another video. There is a 40 minute long video on the channel already that I posted on my Patreon. Still need to get around to doing that but I've not really had the time. I will start covering more in-depth videos but I don't know to be honest. I might just make them and throw them on here and try and get this channel to grow as much as I can. Um, but equally that video is already up on the channel and yeah it's, like I say it's 40 minutes long. Skip through it find the bits that you need. All my settings are in there to what I weld a flange at. Some little secrets that, you know, work for me. Uh, they might work for you as well. So that video is in the link down below. The old double nut method. Put one on, tighten the other one down to it. Easy as that. That's the tie stud and nut kit installed on the engine. So I'm just going to quickly pull off this blue faders tape, masking tape, whatever that was stopping the valves from getting anything inside or whatever. But now I can put the manifold on and it can stay on for good. So I'm going to tighten it down. So I'll try and torque up as many as I can. And then I'll just get a feel of what that feels like by hand. And then it's all good, I've already done these ends too. That one's in as well. So the torque wrench set to 18 foot pounds. That's them all installed. Just massively ties up the exhaust manifold. Just looks, oh, looks sick to be fair. Well happy with them, well worth the money. That is now all the hot side bolted up for good. I will take the turbo off when I install the engine because it, obviously it's going to be in the way. Just need to put the needle bearing in on the crankshaft now. Bolt the flywheel to the engine and then I can mount the gearbox and throw it in. And then, yeah, start marking stuff up. Just need to finish the S4 first. Get all the manifolds and stuff made up and get it back in. And then throw the TT on there for good. But yeah, fucking happy days. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. There isn't much else that I can show in this video. And I kind of just want to get this little three-part series 
boxed off. Next video I'm going to put out is either going to be how to make an exhaust expander at home uh, and out of cheap parts. That way you don't have to spend loads of money if you're just starting out, which I think would be a good video because I've made my own and it, you know, it works great. And then also I've started, which are on this bench here, here's one. Decided to just make a set of log manifolds for the B5 S4. Really happy with how it turned out. That's the standard one. And then that's what I'm moving up to. I'm only after 500 brakes, I'm only on standard internal, so this is going to be plenty. Made a little jig to set up for either side. So this is the driver's side, and this is in the passenger side. Waiting for a bend to show up so that way I can finish this off, and then I'll do all these up. And then I just need to do some tidying up, continue tidying the engine. I vapor blasted what I could. Be another part of the video where I go through all this and what's left to do. So I'm thinking with this, I might just do it as a, a one part. Making the manifolds, you know, just a couple of clips of me welding them and whatever. Getting them installed. Installing all, all the turbos back on. Painting the valve covers and cleaning all the bits up and installing everything back on with new, new fresh hardware. But I'll probably just make that one video. That's to come soon. Going to make a couple of how to weld. Stainless steel, uh, aluminium and cover them and try and get some good footage of that and you know push myself to make some more videos nice one if you've come back to watch again sorry this one's been a bit slow and a bit not much going on you get the idea check out that other video in the link below and i'll see you in the next one peace